the earliest civilization, man has studied the past. Iraq has moved into Kuwait with more than 100,000 troops. Make arrests, serve subpoenas, federal search warrants, uh, the whole nine yards. Our solar system is a really fantastic place. You know, we've now found other planetary systems, and we've not yet found anything quite like our solar system. Welcome to Good Docs. This is your host, X. And in these, I will be kind of doing some short infomercials on docs that I really love and ones that I think others should check out. And seeing as this is the first episode, I'll start with something non-controversial. Comedian and voice actor, Mel Blank. Noted for the voices of Daffy Duck. Duck Dodgers in the 24th and a half century. Bugs Bunny. Come in B-19. Come in B-19. Ceiling 500 feet. Visibility, seven yards. Porky Pig. Turn on the water pool! And many, many more. Mel Blank, Man of a Thousand Voices, was released in 2008 and was produced by Constantine Nazir and Chris Chaplin, edited by Carl Jordan, for release as a special feature on the Looney Tunes Golden Collection Volume 6 and a standalone release later that same year. The doc itself is edited in the standard biographical style. It starts with Mel's childhood going into his early career, showing some pretty cool early voice work with Tex Avery in these clips. On to his work with the USO during the Second World War, showing a great clip here oh, with Kay Kessler doing Private Sad Sack. I'm a little Private Sad Sack. Another chapter in our story, the life of Sad Sack. <laughs> Okay. As well as voice work, Mel acted as a comedic player in the Jack Benny show. During the 60s, Mel continued voice acting for Hanna-Barbera, doing the voice of Barney Rubble and many more. Boy, wait till Fred sees my new bowling ball. It'll bring my score up to at least a hundred. Strike! <laughs> They'll call me Twinkle Toes Rubble, the terror of the alleys. <laughs> Strike! Mel ended his career rehashing many of his own voices in advertising campaigns. The best part of the doc, though, is definitely the interviews. One with Hank Azaro. Like, combine two voices that you're doing, you kind of just land in the middle. Like, if I try to do Apu imitating Mo, it'll sound just like Mo imitating Apu. There's no... We tried it one day at The Simpsons. We were talking about how we were marveling at Mel Blanc's ability to do this, and we all tried to do one of our characters imitating another one and have them sound different, and we couldn't do it. Veteran character actor we'll, Kurt Douglas. We'll tough enough. So in the use, you have to make life more worthwhile. I think that's important. And but a but CB the best radio, and most emotional are with his son. CB. He loved to talk to people, to communicate, to do the voices. Uh, his handle was Bugs Bunny on the CB radio. And say, Bugs, you know, little kids would get on, how are you, it's my birthday, and my he, Bugs would sing to him. And this is after he had done the cartoons or been in the studio and everything. He'd sit at the CB radio for a couple hours, an hour, from five to six before dinner and talk to the kids. So, if you're into old animation, voice actors, or you're like me and can't pass up the chance to see an enduring old ham, check out Mel Blanc, Man of a Thousand Voices.